Welcome back. Here is a look outside in Rehoboth Beach. We have a car driving by. Not a lot of people out there at this hour, but the weather is pretty quiet. It's just warm and muggy. We are looking at some cloud cover out there, some breaks in the clouds too, and a few light showers and sprinkles. So don't be surprised if a pop up shower or thunderstorm does develop, but most of us will stay dry. 73 that current temperature with a south wind at seven across the east coast, still warm and muggy, but it's cooling down in Pittsburgh and even Alpena. 50s and 60s, and that's because they're behind a cold front. And that cold front is racing east, and it's going to do a couple things. Eventually bring us some sunshine as we head through the weekend, and it's going to drop our humidity and temperatures. But not tonight. We're down to near 70. Tomorrow, still warm, but late in the day, it'll start to feel more comfortable with the humidity dropping. Storm chances? Well, not so much. Maybe a pop-up shower in the morning on Saturday. And then... By Sunday, look at that, plenty of sunshine with a high of 72, so much cooler by Sunday. It's going to feel pretty good uh, both days, just a little sticky on Saturday. Your seven-day forecast, we keep the sunshine and the nice, uh, comfortable conditions going through Tuesday. Then it starts to warm up again Wednesday, Thursday. Don't worry, I don't see any washouts, just a few pop-up showers, and we're back in the 80s. What about the beaches? I know a lot of people are planning a trip there. We're looking at a lot of sunshine, especially Sunday through Tuesday, with temperatures warming it up back into the 70s by the middle of the week. Guys? Thank you, Daniel. Before we go, Brandon, we've got one more order of business. Of course, our senior spotlight. That's right, Trey. This week, we're highlighting Ken Island senior Emily Blum. Blum played four years of volleyball, indoor track, and softball while she was a part of a Bayside title in volleyball, broke numerous records during indoor track, and softball is where she will be taking her game to the next level. That's right. She's headed to the University of Delaware on a scholarship next year. Why? Well, her career batting average in high school, 559, That's 11 insane. home runs, or blum bombs as they became known, 40 stolen bases, 74 runs total. I spoke with That's Emily incredible. this week. Here's what she told me that she's learned most about her high school experience. I think just remembering to be thankful for everything and just every day, like remembering that everything that's given to you is a gift and that you shouldn't take it for granted because like nobody was expecting this. Like I thought that I would just go back to school in the next two weeks that we were supposed to be out, but it didn't turn out that way. So I guess just living every day like it's a gift. And I just enjoyed it all so much. And I'm so thankful for my experience at Kent Island. I loved all my coaches, everything that they helped me with, gave me, taught me. And I'm just all really thankful for it. Well said, Emily and her mom is on the front lines of COVID-19. Thank you so much, Patricia. And thank you all so much for watching. And Media 47 ABC Sports. Good night. Have a good night.